Hey guys, so I'm here with my friends Evan, Connor, and Tumi, and we're in Chiang Mai, Thailand right now. And I want to do this video with all of them because they're all minimalists in their own right, and they all kind of take that philosophy on the road with them and travel in their own unique ways. So I wanted to take some time to talk about the packs that they have, and also a couple of their the items that they never travel without. So, who wants to start? I will start over here. I have a Tom Bin Synox 25 liter, but it actually feels a lot bigger because it packs very well, so it feels like I have 30, 35 liters in here. Um, it's a great backpack, and two things I do not travel without are this little sea to stomach backpack. It packs up this small and it folds into like a 15 liter pack as well, which is really good. You can just stuff it into your bag. Actually, Evan, can you toss that out here while you're talking and I'll open it up? Sure, go for it, yeah. Yeah, no, keep going. Alright, and I also put my clothes into these Eagle Creek compartment bags, which fold up really nice and compress my clothes. So I can stuff everything in here, and I have a few of them, so I can separate dirty laundry and my clean clothes, and nothing will get mixed in. And they slide right into the pack really easily as well. Sweet. And this is the bag Evan was talking about. It's like a pretty legit backpack which gets super small. Alright, yeah. Legit. And also, that Tom Bin bag comes in a 19 liter, which Evan was saying to me that he probably would like to have that you could probably fit all of your stuff in it. It's surprising how much room is in there. Yeah, this is really big. I would definitely go with a 19 liter if I had to do it over again. Yeah, Yeah, that's my dream bag as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Alright, Connor. Um, yeah, I'm not that excited about my bag. I think after seeing <laughs> Evan's bag, I really want to get it. Could you listen so up to this? Is, um, this is just like a hundred dollar pack I picked up, I think, two years ago. And it's a little bit too big for me. And um, for this size, I would really like it to have a, uh, a waist strap, which it does not. So it's just when I pack it, it's like a little bit too bulky. But it does the trick. Um, two things that I really am uh, pretty excited about when I travel are one, are my shoes and um, I've been wearing these for like the last six or seven months these are zero shoes with an X zero shoes.com uh, they're about 50 bucks they have a 5,000 mile warranty I don't know how you keep track of that exactly but um, they're doing a great job on my feet and could you take one off yeah totally um, they're just super minimalist super simple and when I get cold I actually just put socks on with them so these are literally the only pair of shoes that I own now and um, can you do you, you like run in them? And yes, yeah, I run in them. They are actually designed for long distance runners, minimalist runners. So um, yeah, they're great. I, I like to rock jumping in them. I've climbed rocks with them. I've run on trails with them. I've walked around the city. I've worn them with socks in thirty degree weather. So they're fantastic. Awesome. The other thing is um, goes back to like my Boy Scout days when you always come prepared, and that's um, just a big bag, mm -hmm. a big plastic bag, because I put a lot of electronics in my bag, and just in case I'm in a rainstorm, I can just drop my pack and put a bag over it, boom. Um, you can also cut little slits in, the, in your bag and then pull your, your arm cool. dealies yeah. through and have a rainproof thing. They do make little like baby sacks for your bags too, which are probably like five bucks, but you can also use this as a poncho. You can also put whatever you want into it. So it's just really handy and it's super lightweight. And um, I always have it with me. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, Jimmy. So, can you lift your bag up first? Yeah, I'm totally gonna lift my bag up. I just want to take a moment and just acknowledge <laughs> <laughs> that I have the biggest bag in the room. I do consider myself to be a pretty serious minimalist, though. But for those of you, mm, <laughs> very easy to lift up, I promise. Um, who are not really, you know, you don't have to always have a backpack. And I actually really love this bag. Um, I'm going to show you what's in it that looks makes it look so bulky in a second. But it's a, um, I guess, it's American Swiss? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Swiss American? Yeah, Swiss American. I got it in Target for less than $80. Um, I've had it for like six years. It's super durable. I like that I can um, hold it like this. 
I can also um, take this out and roll away, which I really love in the airport or when I'm running to meet my connection. I also have in one of these um, compartments uh, a shoulder strap that I can make it like a, a shoulder strap bag. And there are times where I've done this, where I unhook this and put them like on my bag, like a backpack. So I find it to be very versatile. Um, I love all the little uh, side pockets. I put my dirty clothes um, in a side pocket. Um, I put my electronics in another side pocket when I want. I would say the two things that I never travel without. First, my yoga mat. And I love it because um, I do yoga every morning. I do it wherever I am in the world. And there's something kind of amazing about having this mat anywhere in the world. I also have been in places where, um, where I sleep on my yoga mat. So it can be a, a bed whenever I want to. And it's also what I use to do my dance exercises. So I have this thing that can be a bed plus help me do all the exercises and keep supple and fit wherever I am. Mm. Sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> the second thing I never travel without, I'm wearing one right now, but I'll just pull one out from my um, bag, is a scarf. I love scarves. I find them to be um, awesome for temperature control, wherever you are, like in the plane, it's always cold. You can throw up a scarf or kind of like have it as like a little blanket when you're going to sleep. Yeah. Um, I throw it on my hair when I'm somewhere that's dusty. Um, you know, for over my um, around my neck. Sometimes it's a sarong. Sometimes in weird places I need to clean the place. It becomes a little clean wipey thing. So <laughs> I think scarves are amazing, and I would say these are two things um, that I never travel without. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That's. I feel like that offers a lot of different options and. A lot of different um, items that are really good to travel with. So thank you guys for doing this with me. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Do you guys have any <laughs> last words? Anything to share with our minimalist travelers around the world? I like traveling with friends too. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Traveling alone is, is is great, but there's something about traveling with friends. It just kicks it up a notch for me. So. Yeah. Definitely. Okay guys, have fun, travel with some friends. <laughs> we'll see you later. Ciao. See ya. Bye.